Inspectors find numerous violations in Jefferson County restaurants. We've got the highs and lows in this edition of the Restaurant Report Card. We begin with Taqueria Cotilla, Nederland. The inspector found meat that was improperly cooled and thawed, rotted garlic, and there was evidence of fruit flies. The hand washing facilities needed soap and towels. Rags needed to be stored in a sanitation bucket. Inspector Conlin also noted the food contact surfaces needed to be cleaned and sanitized. The shelves needed repainting and dirty dishes were stored with clean ones. Food was also stored on the floor, which is a violation. Taqueria Cotija gets a 71. Next inspectors visit Walk D Light in Port Natchez. Raw and cooked foods were found stored together, which could lead to cross-contamination. A jacket and gloves were found on the food prep table, which is a violation of good hygienic practices. The restaurant lacked thermometers and the food contact surfaces needed to be cleaned and sanitized. Walk D Light gets an 80. And finally, Inspector Conlin checks out La Fiesta Mexican Restaurant in Port Natchez. Large batches of food were not broken down for cooling. An approved source of labeling was needed. Soap and towels were missing from the hand washing facilities and thermometers were missing from the restaurant. The inspector also noted the food contact surfaces needed to be cleaned and sanitized and the floor needed to be sealed. La Fiesta Mexican Restaurant gets an 82. And here are some more scores to pass along. New Walk on Main Street and Groves in 83. Giuseppe's Pasta Factory on Magnolia and Port Natchez in 90. La Suprema on Highway 365 in Nederland in 93. And Juju's Crawfish so close on Highway 365 in Beaumont in 99. On to our, oh no, we've a couple more scores. No, these are our perfect scores. Butcher's uh, Corner, a perfect score. And Starbucks on Highway 365 in Nederland, our perfect scores to round out the week. For more scores and information, just log on to our website at kfdm.com.